Hi friends, how are you all? Welcome to Vasu Switch Kitchen. If you are visiting my channel for first time, please subscribe and press bell icon for new recipe notifications. Today I am sharing very interesting, healthy and tasty Tamil Nadu's popular Thuthu Vale Rasam. I am sure many non-Tamil Nadu people don't know about this Thuthu Vale. Do check out video, I will share full information about this. For your information, I am sharing Tutuvale plant here. Tutuvale is a creeper plant grows widely with purple color flowers and red fruits and lot of thorns. It is also known as purple fruited pea eggplant or Thai nightshade in English, Mulla Musri in Telugu and Tutuvalam in Malayalam. Tutuvale is an ancient herb used in many Siddha and Ayurvedic medicines. It is used to cure cold, cough, blocked nose, and the best medicine to cure asthma and also it is antibacterial and anti-diabetic too. Let's start our recipe. Firstly, soak lemon size tamarind in half cup of hot water for 15 minutes. Later, extract its juice and keep it aside. Also, wash tutuvale leaves in water. Can you see its hot thorns? You don't need to remove these thorns, you can grind it. You have to be very careful while plucking its leaves because it contains lots of thorns on leaves also. Better to use scissors while plucking it. For more information and ingredient details, please check my blog. I will share link in description box. Ingredients used for grinding Fistful of washed tutuvale leaves 1 red chilli 4 garlic pots 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of black pepper. Now take all the ingredients in mixer jar and grind it to coarse powder. Point to remember, if you are serving this rasam to kids or elder people, then skip adding chillies and reduce the quantity of black pepper you are using. Now take this tutuvala paste in a cup, add some water in mixer jar and you can use this water while preparing rasam. Heat 1 teaspoon of oil and 1 teaspoon of ghee in a white pan. Here I am using sesame seed oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Now add half teaspoon of mustard seeds. When it starts crackling, add 4 garlic pots, 1 red chilli and 2 green chilies. As I said earlier, these green chilies are not at all spicy. If the variety of green chilies you are using are spicy, then skip adding it. Now add one sprig of curry leaves and fry everything on low to medium flames. Green chilies added gives good taste to rasam. Fry green chilies till it changes color so that they don't taste spicy while eating. Now add 1 by 4th cup of small onions with 1 by 4th teaspoon of salt. Fry it on low flames till it changes color. Small onions that is used is also known as a sambar vengayam in Tamil. It adds good taste to rasam. If you don't like, you can simply skip it. Can you see onions started changing its color? Now add 1 cup of finely chopped tomatoes and mix everything well. Cook this on low to medium flames till tomatoes become smushy. I learned this recipe from my neighbor Bharat Pati and her daughter Kanchanakka. Thanks a lot Bharat Pati for sharing such a healthy recipes.
Can you see tomatoes became mushy? Now add a prepared toothwale mixture and fry everything well for 2 minutes on low to medium flames or till its raw smell goes away. Now add Tutuvala mixture water that we saved early and 1 cup of tamarind extract and 2 and half cups of water, adjust water as per your requirement. Required amount of salt and half teaspoon of red chilli powder or rasam powder and 1 by 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. As said early, you can also skip adding red chilli powder. Now mix everything well and add 2 teaspoons of finely chopped coriander leaves and 1 sprig of curry leaves. Finally, close the lid and cook it for 3 minutes on high flames or 5 minutes on low to medium flames. Do not over boil rasam for long time. After boiling 3 to 5 minutes, open the lid. Can you see how tomatoes are floating on rasam? Our rasam is ready to serve. Trust me, the aroma of this rasam in my kitchen was very soulful. Can you see how pearl onions are looking in this rasam? I think after seeing this, you don't forget to add these small onions, right? And this is perfect recipe for this rainy season. In order to cure seasonal cough, cold and running nose. If you get these tutuwale leaves in your area, do not forget to prepare this rasam. You can also have this rasam as a soup in rainy days. It gives very comfort to your throat. Finally, take this rasam in a serving bowl and garnish it with finely chopped coriander leaves and 1 teaspoon of ghee. That's it, our tutuwala rasam is ready to serve. I had this rasam with some hot steamed rice, muddha papu and avakaya, beans curry and with some banana chips. Wish you liked this rasam recipe. If you like my efforts, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment and also follow us on social media too. Thank you friends, have a good day. Bye-bye.